Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this training session. Uh, as always, my videos are very raw, real, and unedited. So if I fluff up anything on the way through, you're going to have to forgive me. So I just thought I'd put this uh, video together fairly quickly, just based upon the massive volatility that we've been seeing over the past three or four days. Now it is a Labor Day weekend in the USA. Uh, it's Monday down under here in Australia, so it's uh, very early Monday morning in the US. So the main markets are going to be closed. That will, but they'll still have what we call the globex session. But we're still experiencing a lot of volatility. In fact, the first five to ten minutes when the market opened today was virtually. Uh, untradeable so how do we handle these fast moving markets particularly if we look from about Wednesday Thursday Friday last week really the normal time frames you'd be trading were, were just untradeable they really were so I'm going to be sharing with you some strategies some ideas how you actually trade during these times now of course what I cover here you can apply to any market whether you be trading futures Forex or stocks we will be focusing of course on the futures markets and we'll just look at the micro NQ today and I'll explain why but you can apply this to any market and any type of chart now in today's session we're going to be looking at Renko charts but whether you trade tick time volume Heikinashi Renko which a lot of our members now trade or just Heikinashi it really doesn't matter the same principles will apply I do need to pull up the disclaimer whoops here we go there is a risk in trading don't trade with the rent money unless you know what you're doing so please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer if you're not a member watching this this is mainly being circulated to uh, my members please uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and become a member for $197 you receive over 15 of the world's best day trading strategies 200 hours of online video instruction look the Google Drive that my members gain access to it's been described as a gold mine of information so anyway for $197 you can get everything that I'm going to be showing you today so uh, visit my website I'm a day trader.com now and just one more thing this is for my members so for one month of uh, we've got a new group uh, group about to start so of course we run the live group coach coaching every month eight live sessions uh, two hours each 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Tuesdays and Wednesdays now you can join for only $97 a month and if you're in we've got over 200 members that attend these sessions and many in Europe so if it's a bit late for you they are recorded so you can watch it anytime so it's $97 a month cancel at any time or $597 for the year which is less than $6.25 per live coaching session I'm not going to pull up the testimonials um, uh, there's so many of them but anyway let's now get into the oh and I should have really said please visit my website to sign up for it to join as a member or to sign up for the coaching um, as a member and as the general public go directly to my website and you'll see a tab there private group coaching click on that you can read what we cover and down the bottom there's links to join up for either option one or option two so come and join us in those session if you really want to fast track super fast track your learning um, uh, and master the art of day trading come and join us okay end of advertisement let's get into it so traditionally traders we know that there are three main trading sessions we've got the New York session which is generally fairly fast we then roll over into the Globex session which consists of the Asian then the London and in all of those sessions we need to consider the speed of the market the stops the targets and the time that we're in a trade that is we'll usually use a slightly higher time frame during New York because it's moving that quickly however how do we handle fast moving markets if we go back to the 27th of the 8th um, uh, just a couple of weeks ago we can see there that on the ES which we gauge the market on we can see there we only had 1.236 one say 1.3 million contracts trade on the day what that means is 
if you're trading during the New York session you can easily be trading a two tick Renko uh, or a 550 tick uh, chart or a, uh, a four point Renko on the micro you know it just depends on your market okay so it's, it's you know fairly slow just ticks along but then last week we saw basically a lot of things happen in the equity market it's been very toppy uh, we've seen the market come off over a number of days and on the 4th of the 9th we saw 2.8 million contracts trade on the ES and the day after we had uh, 2.9 so a lot of our traders found the market extremely fast so what do we do because the flow and effect there is that when you increase your time frame you're generally then going to have a wider stop and if you're staying within your risk parameters of 2% it can really affect that as we're about to see now with the micros um, if we and most of you are aware of this and I've done quite a number of videos now on the micros the e mini is a dollar 25 a tick the uh, Russell 50 cents a tick and as you're about to see you can make a great deal of money from these micros and just looking at the volume look at this here on the uh, the micro NQ uh, 1.6 million contracts now uh, traded on that day it surpasses uh, virtually it will really it surpasses every day now the normal contract so we're seeing more and more traders um, uh, fall into the category of trading the micros now there is a commission issue and once you start trading 10 20 30 contracts on the micro then it's time really to start jumping up and joining the big boys because the commissions can really have a big effect but uh, that's a bit beyond the what I really wanted to get into in today's session but what I do want to quickly cover is this you've probably seen my videos where I talk about having an account size of 1500 or maybe even a thousand dollars 1500 uh, we've been doing some recently at 1700 uh, having nice wide stops well what I'm about to show you today works brilliantly but really to stay within our 2% rule you need to have an account size of 2200 traders you start breaking the maximum risk rule and you start to blow accounts now at a 2% risk that means I can have a risk there of $44 now in fact uh, the maximum risk with what I'm about to show you is $42 but we want to build in our brokers commissions now brokers commissions when it comes to trading the micros vary from 80 cents round turn up to 250 in this case what I'm about to show you let's just allow two dollars okay so you just want to be very aware of those commissions now also in this example once your account increases to 4400 that is 100% up so we then start trading two contracts we then get another 2200 our account is up to 6600 we start trading three and once your account hits 22,000 and you're trading 10 micros that's the time when you consider um, uh, trading the larger contracts okay because I'm about to show you a table where it shows trading 100 micros realistically you wouldn't be doing that you'd be trading the big contracts okay so you can apply what I'm about to show you to the ES to the NQ now very important members it's this on my Google Drive you will find there a folder there called micro e mini futures now there you'll find a number of recordings and the cheat sheets that I'm about to show you are in that folder also don't forget that recently I hired a hypnotherapist to record a number of hypnotherapy sessions for members so that's under the folder called four strategies for mastering your mind and one more under the mp3 soundtracks I've been uploading a heap of mp3 downloadable soundtracks for you to listen to whilst you trade you can burn them onto CDs and listen to them as you drive around some really good head stuff there on getting your head right so let's now continue with this so moving right down so here um, uh, I've just mentioned that cheat sheet there so the steps that I talk about during the New York 
uh, session if you're trading the micro NQ you can trade the four point rank code now that's quite a large size uh, but it's very tradable and the mark the NQ moves you get some great waves and that's really what we want to see you get some great volatility and with this the your maximum risk off a t1 is going to be $25 if you trade the t8 setups the rule of ones the slingshots your risk is only six sixteen dollars fifty now with what I'm going to show you today which as you'll see is very tradable during these fast markets now I want to say very tradable you've got to be on the ball okay you're sitting here and you only need three or four of these a day to do really well your risk is going to be $42 and that's why I mentioned to why you really need that $2,200 to be nice and conservative now once again you can apply this concept to any market you just need to scale down if you're trading stocks if you're trading the uh, the minis or the micros on Forex okay just apply the same principles but what's really important is this now five steps which I'll show you what that is if you're a new member and you're not sure is $40 six steps is 48 and as you'll see you usually romp that in okay and I'll show you and give you a couple of examples of that and ideally you want to be going for seven steps but if you want to really get in there get out get that cash register ring um, uh, really five to six steps is ideal it's basically covering a one-to-one -one risk reward some will argue oh that's very low but hey these are 75 percent trades 80 percent trades now very very important is this I'll just show you three charts now remember on my Google Drive you can get these these are the in, in the Excel spreadsheet but you're seven times more likely to achieve a goal if it's in writing it's so important traders that you set a target now with this if you're trading say the MES or the NQ with a $2,200 account and only a $76 a day trade I uh, sorry target now that 76 actually that should read uh, let's see that actually should read three oh, sorry two my apologies that should say two not three just there okay so two net two B trades a day and we'll look at that and we'll see these on the chart that's that's by $38 each now that's actually their $40 moves take away your $2 commissions and that gives you their $76 a day just two two B's a day okay that's all we're after and all you need by five steps okay and what that means to you're up to 10,000 a week the potential to be earning 10,000 a week in 24 weeks down here and that is you only start trading another contract when you double your money now over here you can see here that um, uh, by the end of the year you're up to nearly a million in capital and you'd be trading 100 mini lots remember that's only 10 standard lots okay that's 10 standard lots now with this our stop is $42 now on the big contract okay that would be $420 which means if you stay within your 2% rule I don't want to lose anyone here but it means you'd need 22,000 in your account so this is one of the beauties of the con of the micros now we get to um, uh, what if we go for three five step trades a day so we're after we've got 22 we're after three net trades a day and once again we'll get to the charts in a moment we'll see how that's done that's $114 a day within 15 weeks you're up to your 10,000 a week okay you're up to 1.9 million in 50 weeks that's three net trades a day now let me say this at this stage we're experiencing a lot of volatility so we're going to go back to that date that I showed you before what if we applied the same rules to a low volume day okay so we will have a look at that because I know some of you will be thinking well what about the low volume days now let's look at one more what if we went for three $46 trades a day 
okay we're up to 10,000 a week in 11 weeks 2.5 million in capital if we stay within that 2% remember you're not trading 100 lots you'd be trading 10 lots so that's three net trades a day now one of the challenges that we have in lower volume days is finding or really get as you're about to see getting enough trades now this is on the four point Renko for anyone that hasn't seen or any new members each step is one of these every time you step up on the Renko charts and the reason we use the Renko's here and I actually use Renko's in conjunction with a tick chart because the tick chart can give me a little more information but Renko's are beautiful for smoothing out price action but every one of these steps that you see here is worth four dollars okay now as you're about to see when we go to the higher time frame each one of the steps is worth eight dollars now what we're looking for is trading with the trend only okay we're trading with the trend so we've got our entry chart our anchor chart one anchor chart two same with the shorts we've got a number of entries here we've got a 2b there we've got another 2b uh, here okay we've got a ton of TA trading conditions on the way down so what's the best way to trade these higher time frames in really fast moving markets traders I really recommend it you stick with the trend following strategies your t1s your super scalpers your slingshots uh, your what else have we got here your 34b's your 89b's and your 2b's okay and even your ruler ones when you got t8 conditions okay so you want to stick with the trend following strategies now for new members or traders that are just starting out what's really important is it remember Curly's rule rule what's that one thing okay the one thing in trading initially is that you focus on only one or two strategies one or two trend following strategies until you master them once you master those then you can start adding additional strategies to your arsenal it's a little bit like where I teach you how to use three charts well you can start off with your entry chart and your anchor then expand in time to using the three charts you don't have to have three charts up okay the one thing so very very important you have one thing in mastering out of trading is to really trade with the trend and the next one is have only one or two trading strategies so traders let's now go to the charts and have a look at some examples here okay so first of all what I want to show you is a low volume day going back to the uh, what date was that the 26th 27th whatever date I had there and I've actually marked it up now one of the beauties of the uh, of these micro markets is of course they're open 23 hours a day almost 23 hours a day five days a week so you get home from work in the US uh, and you're learning how to trade you can start to sim trade then go to live trading after hours and really work up from there now this is a low volume day and this is one of the challenges so we can see here you had a classic example here and the market had been open for about six hours before you had an entry on the seven point Renko so this is a seven normally during after hours we trade either a two or a four point here I've got a seven All right beautiful winner you've got uh, and you've got there one two three four five steps you romp five steps in there and there is on that particular market um, $38 there's another one more than five if you want here is another one now remember you're entering on the close of a third your stop is going a couple of ticks under your low now when I say your stop is 42 sometimes it's only $39 because the tails can vary in size at times so we had one two and let's just talk trend trades here okay so you had one two three you had four forget that one okay five uh, you had six you had seven you had seven nice winners in a row but that was over 
and you had lots of t8s and you had other trades on the way through but your highest probabilities on the way up you only had really a handful over that time period let's now go to fast moving markets and this is where it really comes down to understanding the volume and one of the beauties of the formula and the um, the Renko's that we use traditionally using a 4.7 and 12 if for four is moving too quickly and we'll go to um, a four in a minute you can soon jump up then and because you can see you've got the seven next to it so you can soon swap and change okay so let's just have a look at this this is just one of the days last week now I've deliberately got here a couple of losses okay there's three losses there remember you've got to start to think and trade in probabilities okay and I wanted to deliberately show you this because so many people just want to show you all the all the winning trades but one of the greatest challenges that I have uh, as a trader and as an educator as a trading coach is traders that aren't prepared and this is why we have to think in trade lots of 20 so you had a loss bad luck a loss bad luck a winner thank you okay um, uh, thank you a loss bad luck okay then we have a winner and then you have a string of winners but what I wanted to really show you here was traders was let's look at the size or the potential of some of these winners remember we're not in till the close of a third so one two three four five now almost six but there's your five okay there's your eight to ten or whatever there's another one again there's another one there's another one there's another one okay all winners now we come up and let me just check is that a 2d what have we got just happening just there okay so what we've got there is a 3d okay so there's a 3d divergence divergence okay uh, it's actually a 2d sorry so and the reason I got a question mark when we know that usually the first bounce after major divergence you'll have a failure okay then you had a nice little t4 as we say turning a losing trade in a winning trade winner a winner etc so what you can see here traders over and this is just over an hour or so we've got or really that day we had dozens of trades and that's where we had the 2.5 to 2.8 million contracts trading per day okay so you've got a ton of trades on and there's a loss by the way and why did I, I think I probably put a question mark there because sometimes you, you'll get out but anyway let's count it as a loss but bottom line is there's a ton of trades and of course we're trend trading only and what we've got on the way down look at your t8 trades as well so you've got a lot of scalps which I'm not even including in this now let's now go and have a look at the after hour session today now let's remember traders that uh, the market opens Sunday evening uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and let's just have a look at the open and I could we call it the X open and the New York open okay the X open is the globe X open so very very fast now generally we're waiting five minutes after the market opens but it was still pumping away and this is where you're going to be using market orders and even five minutes after the markets open it's almost not worth trading in my opinion because um, uh, if you're an active trader you know you you're going to get massive slippage you're bouncing there's still not too many traders in the market okay you really want to wait generally about 30 minutes okay but if you were using market orders either way and and what do we do by the way in a really fast moving market if we've got an 84 tick stop which is what forty um two dollars is um what if you're down here you you're down here because you have a market order you're not filled till down here well you you keep the stop the same okay because the markets pumping you're usually going to get some uh, generally really fast moving markets and that's why you, I recommend you stay with the trend trade this with the trend look at your anchor charts okay this is what you're looking at look at them they're heading down and we see this every single day and this is why I say continually 
master the art of trading initially just trading with the trend then you can start to build in your one two three and these your divergence trades okay just take these because all you need is three of these a day and you're finished okay now so what I want to say is that if you get filled down here don't increase your stop either um, uh, you know I'd recommend you just stay with the same stop you got it's still plenty wide it's um okay it's seven points uh, you so you've got a 28 tick stop okay but I just want to show you so you had this here then you had a 3d now 3ds for anyone that's a new member watching you want to be very very careful of trades um, after a 3d when you've got three divergences against you okay it's a very strong move okay we mark a chain then we come up we've got a 2d okay when you go to 2d the market is changing direction here look at your EMAs look at the fanning of your EMAs we've got a new trend direction but what are we really after here traders we're really after a minimum of five to six steps there's your six if you want that would give you six if you stayed into it over to here that easily gave you six steps six steps now remember each one of those is eight dollars six steps is $48 and this is where it really comes down to focus on one good trade at a time okay one good trade at a time because three six step, six step let me get this right put my teeth back in three six step trades a day you have the potential of increasing your 2200 account up to 10,000 a week trading the same within that time now that's if you stick around for hours in the market because right now we've got to remember the extra volatility so remember we're talking about the seven but once you drop down and you start trading your four point there's still a ton of trades there. you might have to fire off an extra trade when the market slows down but what we can see here traders is there's a ton of them okay that was a t12 look at this here perfect t12 and it was a 2b t12 2b on your anchor chart so that there and there beautiful trade six to eight again look at this that one there you didn't get filled your five till one uh, whoops one two so there your stops above here so you didn't get your six or seven steps till down here again now these are blind Freddy trades okay why we're trading with the trend so I'm ignoring your angulation trades and all of those and then we start to get back up again and you've got your t12s and we've got three in a row here let's now then go to this here okay so this is where we come to what's the ideal chart to be looking at in a really fast day like this I recommend you have your 7 12 and 21 up now remember all of this is in your cheat sheet however on a normal day if it's still pumping have your four Renko up your four Renko four point Renko in this case on the NQ we adjust these for the different markets uh, and for the member so all my coaching members you would have seen this before Tuesday night session we've got the link to this we'll talk much more extensively about this uh, on Tuesday night but you can use your four point here as an early heads up to a possible entry on your seven so your four point gives you an early heads up now if the market slows down like we've seen now over the last couple of hours you can trade directly off your four point now remember when you've got a four point seven steps is $28 okay you've only got a risk of $25 so one two three four five now if you wanted to get out there and as we know five steps here is twenty dollars but seven would get you in here but there's one two and so for anyone new what I say to traders if you're trading multiple contracts you want to hear that cash register ringing okay that's where a really good target is five steps no matter what time frame you're trading five steps on your first contract or contracts and either trail or go for seven for your second okay because you get lots of these little moves you can always 
re-enter so here you can use your four point now now the market will really pick up now uh, we've got an hour and 20 minutes before uh, we hit 9 a.m. in Germany 8 a.m. in London so the market our volumes will pick right up now when it comes to your trading matrix I was doing a session with one of our members about an hour ago one of my private clients and we we're just just going through this and we just fired off so I've just changed this to the sim account here but we're just firing off here using the four point but trading the seven so therefore I've got multiple screens so I've got this above my seven so I use this for my entries okay and I just showed him how to fire off there and it was four hundred dollars which is what now this is in the sim this is on the sim uh, the demo account case okay? but it was forty dollars per contract which is what we're talking about the five steps okay on the seven uh, point now if you're getting confused just watch the video a few times it's pretty pretty straightforward now what about when we get to a normal market okay when it slows right down now we're live right now so you can see how quickly the market is moving okay it's really fine so we've got a two a four and a seven so this in a normal after hours market you can usually get away with trading with a two point Renko on the NQ okay this is exclusive for the NQ okay so we've got a two point then my anchor chart one is a four and the anchor chart two is a seven as you can see if that speeds up too much I will go to the four if it's getting far too fast that is when whoops that's uh, where is it here that's where you'll jump to your 7 12 and 21 just takes a little bit of getting used to but traders this ain't rocket science it really isn't rocket science the greatest challenge is really having traders really sit down and think about this and learning to think like traders and developing okay the skill set of thinking you know some of the best trades you can take are the ones you actually don't take okay um, uh, and it's just so important that you learn like we can see here on the four point by the way that yes it was a short there so if we look at this and I, I love using the super scalper okay so in the t2 so you've got an entry there okay you would have been in oh, order you had another entry there you had your entry there and uh, let's just see did we get our five one two three four you're still in that trade um, right now you need to come down here um, to get filled on that you know just following these trend trades you had one up there now there and this is where it can get tricky what have we got just here so let's just explore this very very quickly what we've got right there now traders is we've got divergence okay so there you had a really nice 2b a super scalper trade entry there beautiful seven steps now remember seven steps on this market is 28 you only need three of those a day and you're kicking butt big time okay seven steps then you've got this one just here and you're just after divergence now if you look at your higher time frames did you have divergence on your higher time frames as well what the heck why don't we just go and check that so let's now go to our four seven okay uh, and where was that was that a, let me just um, was that a bit over here sorry just got to find where we were now um, just one sec we over here oh, I've lost my spot now uh, oh I think we were here weren't we I think I just want to really show you this this is really important so what we've got there okay so here we've got yeah okay so let's look at this just there and there okay so what we can see here traders is you've got it's you're starting to gain divergence here okay look at your angulation and what that means is here's your first move here's the second move these are what we call the two BDs these are a much lower probability trade also notice your 
EMAs see how they're starting to turn traders see our dots here we've got a t20 there what's a t20 tell us generally a change in market direction even if it's only for the short term t20 just there change t20 change t20 change your market direction okay but anyway I'm getting a bit long winded with this video um, and uh, let's just have a look here okay so there you're well and truly filled now on that particular trade now what can you tell me about this trade trade in with the trend trade in with the trend trade in with the trend trend how do we identify the trend the fanning of the EMAs okay so, you know it, it's all rooted in simplicity I was just trying to think of uh, of the quote I'm just trying to think of his name um, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication said uh, Leonardo da Vinci that's what it is simplicity is the ultimate sophistication you know so many traders want to make this like rocket science and if we looked at this here well what do we do here this is what we call a 200 overshoot now let's just go and have a look at our anchor chart why don't we do this let me just do this so I get the right spot uh, just make sure just do that for a moment now let's go to the four the seven and look at that there what have you got there so that one there which you think gee what do I do here look at the trend on your anchor charts okay once again we're in on the close of a third you had a nice little trade there you had one there you had one there there's your day's profit but unfortunately traders lack either the patience or the discipline so in summary traders um, just get used to looking at the higher time frames there are a ton of great opportunity and it's not really it's not rocket science when the market really starts to move simply look at your volume and that really gets down to just really getting used to or, or reviewing what the daily volumes are at certain times and it's just a skill set just a matter of just putting down in your journal or what I do actually let me show you what I do let me just pause the video and I'll pull it down and show you um, so what I do I keep uh, and and by the way here traders most of you know I've been in this business for over 26 27 years now I've got I have folders I have just thousands of articles and online books etc and indicators etc and you know this is my career and this to become your career you want to be organized so every day I take screenshots okay of the volumes and certain times and so um, I've become very good at knowing when I've got a high volume day now some days are going to be low volume in take until so you have an FOMC announcement okay so it's just a matter of really becoming a student of the markets and I suppose that's the best thing for me to put it that way you've got to become a student of the markets but guess what it ain't rocket science traders it really isn't it's just a matter of getting used to it and investing the time into this so if you want to really fast track yourself as a member come and join my coaching sessions okay remember in my coaching sessions there's a ton of additional handouts powerpoints uh, I cover member charts as well as looking at all the trades well all many of the trades of a day both the good and the bad okay remember it's some um, you know the greatest sports people have coaches okay the greatest business people have business coaches I am your trading coach let me save you a lot of time and frustration thank you traders uh, so go back and, and watch it again and again just pick up the key ideas of increasing the time frame thanks traders see you on the next video